Welcome, everyone. Hello. I hope everybody's having a an excellent Saturday. I know I am. Well, so far, so good. So far, so good. You might be wondering, Claire, Will, the fuck is going on with that mustache, dude? Listen, okay? I have a very logical explanation for this mustache right now. Because this is... Bullhorn Betty's hairdo must feel lonely. This is the mustache that goes with that hairdo. Okay? So I'm I'm performing a service, people. You understand what I'm doing? You understand? I'm performing a service. Okay? It feels lonely. It doesn't feel right. So I'm rocking this mustache for that hairdo because it's the only thing that goes with that. It's the only thing that goes with that. Bullhorn Betty's hairdo frames air supply posters. <laughs> Oh my god, I know it's gonna be one of those lives. It's <laughs> oh my god, dude. It's gonna be one of those lives. Now, again, people, you guys gotta know. All right, I say it all the time, and I'm gonna keep saying it. Blessed are the clip channels. Okay, blessed are the clip channels. I love the clip channels. I love <laughs> I <laughs> Oh my God. Bullhorn Betty's hairdo had sex with Lita Ford. <laughs> oh my God. I'm going to do this all day. <laughs> one second. One second. <laughs> Hold on. All right. Bullhorn Betty's Bullhorn Betty's hairdo was a roadie for Eddie and the Cruiser's new band in the 80s after he came back to life. <laughs> All right, what does it say here? BHB came on very excited today to play the viral call between Penny and Benny and Penny. All right, so now this is Heels in the Air. She's a friend of the channels. She's great. She does great, great work. This must be the penny. So this, this must be the girl that he has the um, infatuation over, if, if that's who she is. Uh, he was talking, he was uh, kind of gushing over a penny. And uh, she's a beautiful lady. I mean, give her that. She is beautiful. I love her eyes. I love her eyes. She's beautiful. Hey. There she is. Can you call Candace and tell her how to make mods? Make, make sure to subscribe to Heels in the Air, please, guys. Let me let me let me comment on that on that comment right there real quick. Um I don't I don't hate Bullhorn Betty, I don't hate Molly Go Lightly, I don't hate Jonathan Lee Riches. I don't hate these people. That takes up too much energy. That's bad energy, too. Hatred. I don't hate nobody, all right? That's a lot of my energy that I'm giving to somebody, and what I'm doing is I'm just spending it because they're not getting anything out of it. I'm not getting anything out of it. I'm just spending energy. It's gross. Uh, so I don't do that. I don't hate nobody. Um, it's more fun to not hate them. It's more fun to have gratitude for them being so fucking stupid to giving me content at all times, no matter what. I don't even have to talk about a case. This is somewhat of a real crime channel, and I don't even have to talk about a case. I could just get up here and do this shit and because they're fucking idiots. I could talk about assholes, and I could talk about cases. That's what we do on The Glarer, people. I am live because I created a situation 
for my notes. And now I'm like, I had to get on here and explain that this shit was for my notes. <laughs> no, of course not. So what I'm assuming that he just said is he realized he's telling her he's dishing out. So this is somebody that obviously BK trusts a lot and she called him directly and they must be friends. Right. So. so but you're not a drama channel, are you, Betty? Right. We don't do drama here. Right. So why the fuck is Benny's relationship with Penny relevant to anything? To any of the cases that you're supposedly covering why is this relevant to any of the shit that you do? Just curious. Just curious. Because you're not a drama channel. You don't do drama. No. No. So at first, he didn't realize um, that she was on live and that she was on speaker. And so, you know, he's he's just going off because it's his friend. You know, he's talking to her like, you know, he did not. He was kind of, in my opinion, um, not set up. But I don't think she was expecting that there was some issues there. Obviously he had not communicated with this gal yet. And, um, anyways, he's like, Oh, F Candace, you know, they're trying to say that I'm in their cameras, that I'm asking for Don's birth certificate, you know, that I'm trying to set them up, All right, which now let me, we heard last night in that interview. Let me clear one thing up right now. Okay. We're going to get a little serious here for a minute. We're going to get a little serious. All right. <clears throat> it's going to be a fun stream, but we, I gotta be, I gotta be completely honest with you. Um, I'm not going to be I am not going to be having Candace or Don on this panel anymore. Um, it's not because I believe them to be guilty of anything or or anything like that. It is simply not the case. Um, I feel as though they said what they needed to say. I got to say what I wanted to say to each of them. Um, but I no longer will be contributing to the social media, uh, crap that's going on with, with them. As far as that goes, um, I do not want to interfere, interfere with their invest with, uh, law enforcement's investigation, uh, in any way, shape or form. I don't even want to do it inadvertently. Um, I want summer found. It's all I care about. I want summer found. I want summer safe hopefully i i the very least i want answers and law enforcement right now for whatever reason that sheriff ronnie lawson decided to say and i believe he lied because i don't believe candace has a lawyer because candace keeps doing live streams candace is going on live streams she has a channel now and she's doing live streams and she's just sitting there looking at chat and uh, one thing that I can continue to hear her say is I'm not discussing the case. This is not what this channel is for. And I understand that, but I'm not interested in her or Don in any way, shape or form other than what it pertains to finding their daughter. That's the only reason we talk about them. I'm not interested in being friends with them. I'm not interested in, um, proving their innocence in any in, in any way shape or form necessarily because i don't know whether they're guilty or innocent of anything lots that's law enforcement's job to figure that out that's law enforcement's job okay and so no i, I i'm not trying to like you know buddy up with anybody just because of i might be able to get answers it's not my job to get answers it's my job to give you guys my opinions on the answers that emerge, but it's not my job to get them. So, and that's just how that is. And that's how that's going to be. And that's how it will. It, it always has been. And it's how it always will be. I am not an investigative journalist. I don't claim to be an investigative journalist. Mm -hmm. I am just somebody who sees what's going on and has opinions on it. And I speak up on those things and that's it. That's it. Um, so for whatever reason that Sheriff Ronnie Lawson went on television and said that Candace lawyered up and Don lawyered up, well, I'm not seeing the behavior of somebody who has lawyered up. You see what I'm saying? Because no lawyer would approve of Candace creating a YouTube channel and, and, and gaining popularity and wanting to be social with people based on the fact that her daughter is missing. It's fucking weird. If I'm being completely fucking honest, I don't like it. Uh, it bothers me. Um, so right now where I'm at is 
for whatever reason that law enforcement decided to go on television and say that there has to be some reason behind it. I don't know what that reason is. I don't know why he would lie about that, but he did. I'm quite certain he did because I don't think Candace is lying about having a lawyer because no lawyer would tell her to start a YouTube channel and be talking on it and try to be all social based on the fact that her daughter's missing. No lawyer would recommend that. And if she's paying for a lawyer, I promise you she's doing what her lawyer tells her to do. And they don't have the money for a lawyer. Now, I mean, if she's criminally charged, she has the right to an attorney, you know, appointed by, by the state or the county or whatever. If she's, if she's charged with something, but she hasn't been charged with anything. So if she's got a lawyer, she's paying for that lawyer. And I don't think she's paying for a lawyer. <laughs> I just don't think that that's what's going on right now. So it's fucking weird. And I don't know if that's why Benny said, fuck that bitch. I don't know why he said that. That has nothing to do with me. That's not what we're talking about here. Uh, we're talking about how Bullhorn Betty's a fucking jackass and a hypocrite and a liar. Um, some standard operating procedures for Benny Keys. And then, you know, we're hearing this and she immediately took him off speakerphone and put the phone up to her ear. If there was not so many, so much background noise, we could probably hear, we could hear his voice, but it's muffled and we can't make out the words. Good morning, everyone. And we can't make out the words. Thank you for All right, let me address that comment because you're pissing people off in my chat. You're pissing my mods off in particular, S. Uh, so you're up here saying absolutely sickening that Candace is on here to enjoy herself and doesn't want to talk about her missing baby. Um, no, it's not sickening that she has a YouTube channel that she wants to, you know, but I don't think that it's helpful to have a YouTube channel and not discuss what's going on with her child because that's the only reason anybody gives a shit who she is whether you believe her or whether you don't believe her hey, the only reason anybody gives a fuck about candace and who she is is because her child is missing so absolutely i do agree with the fact that she should be trying to spread more awareness on on her but at the same time i mean everything that i said to her is she answered every fucking question how many times over is she going to say the same shit over and over and over and over and over again Right? Why? So I do not believe that she owes anybody any more explanation. She has gone over it and over it and over it. She is. She gave Chris McDonough everything that she had. She gave uh, every single person, every YouTuber that she's ever gone on, on, you know, she, she went on Dr. Phil and talked about the case with Dr. Phil. Okay? How much do you expect her to answer the same questions over and over and over again? You can't expect her to, especially because she doesn't owe shit to you. If she, if she, owe, she owes Summer and the only people that she should be talking to in order for to, to find Summer that's going to benefit finding Summer is talking to the trained professionals charged with the responsibility of finding Summer. Law enforcement, period. That's it. That's the only people she should be talking to uh, as far as that goes. Or she owes anybody anything. Okay. <laughs> On the most awkward live of my lifetime. <laughs> I, do. I would say so. Let's hear what we have to say here. Hi. Okay. It looks, like, shirt. Oh, it looks like a robe, like a rose robe. I was like, look at her. She got her cigarette smoking robe on. <laughs> no, it's a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kill it right there because we already know what was uh, said. You can say it once and, and be done with it. It's being disrespectful. And what Bullhorn Betty's hairdo got kicked out of the Playboy Mansion for being too drunk. Warrants you being booted from this channel. So I don't want you crying the blues saying that you that I don't take constructive criticism and um, that I mean and I'm a bully because... <laughs> You want to have your statement, but you want to keep saying it over and over and over again as if people can't pay attention to you. Nobody wants to pay attention to you. And if you think I speak out my butt, why are you here listening to it? Why would you waste your time? You know, I think it's a mental illness when people have nothing better to do than watch somebody they don't like. Okay, but we love you. That's the whole point. That's what you're missing. We love you, Betty, because you continue to say the stupidest fucking shit ever, and it never gets old. It never gets old.
We could do this shit all day. Like, you're always going to give Burnt Toast content. You're always going to give me content. And, and we love you for it. I promise you that. We love you for it. Think about that. Do you think I go to channels and watch people and troll people's channels? No. Maybe I don't have should. a mental problem. <laughs> <laughs> Again, what are you talking it's about? I'm talking eerie. into a camera. It's eerie how much she resembles Kathy Bates, especially in Misery, dude. Exactly, Caleb. It's crazy how she resembles Kathy Bates, bro. It's so weird. Bullhorn Betty's look, 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 look. Bullhorn, Bullhorn Betty, when she's in a good mood, she calls people pal. Bullhorn Betty's hairdo calls people pal. Bullhorn Betty's hairdo uh, calls people shit stick when she's mad at them. Who are you? And why do you feel like you? I, I owe you something. I'm not trying to be rude, but who the hell are you? That's right, shit stick. And why do you think that I need to stop what I'm doing on here to speak with you? Oh my God, how many, how, many, how many things do we have here? I'll scroll up. Since you think you're that special, I will give you the benefit of the doubt. Okay, hold on. Let me let me take this. Maybe she'll explain. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so this is Penny calling her right now. Oh, that explains it. Okay. So, all right, bye. All right, Penny, now that I know who you are. I don't know who you are. I've never heard of you before and you've never been in my channel that I know of. And in, in true crime commentary, I didn't pull that video. That video was sent to me. The video was sent to me. So I had no idea what your channel's name is. So just to clarify, before you get your, your you know, get all upset with me, I have no idea who you are. You're, it doesn't say Penny on here. It says true crime commentary. I've never gone to your channel. That video of- Bullhard Betty's hairdo scalps minor league hockey tickets in Nova Scotia. Of, of you was sent to me. It was already clipped. Uh, I didn't even know who your, what your name was when I played it. People in my chat this morning told me that it was you. So, don't think I'm trying to be me. I just didn't know who you were. Okay, I'm gonna drop you a link. Please come on in. Happy to have a conversation. I just don't want it to be drama filled. I don't want it to be angry. This is, um, and if it is, I'm just gonna kick you out. So Bullhorn Betty's hairdo feels the need, the need for speed. Ow! Let's just be, let's just be nice, okay? <laughs> See what you got to say. And again, I got nothing. I don't know who you are. I got Welcome nothing bad. Welcome, Randy B. Nothing bad. Breathe out. We will make your Manic Monday happy. Um, I wish they didn't have the copyright stuff. Otherwise, I'd play Manic Monday for us every Monday. But maybe I'll be able to do that and cut that portion out. Of Boar Betty's hairdo literally loves the song Manic Monday, bro. <laughs> it's not even a joke <laughs> of the live uh, um i was alerted that you were playing the thing uh, so yeah, and i just want to let you know that was where the, the confusion came in because i didn't go to your channel and pull that off that was actually sent to me so i had no idea what the name of your channel was i didn't even know what your name was people in my all right so who she's talking to right now is a creator named penny i think it's true crime community is the name of her channel i'm not 100 percent sure but she's good friends with benny um, and, uh, I was actually on her panel, uh, a few days ago with Benny. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so why she's talking to her and why it's relevant to whatever sh case that she's supposedly covering. Uh, I, I, I don't know. True crime commentary. Thank you. Heels in the air, true crime commentary, and make sure to subscribe to heels in the air guys. This is her video that she made, uh, that we're going over right now. Blessed are the clip channels earlier this morning let me know that it was penny and i had heard your name once before a couple times before but i didn't know you had um the channel so it's, it's nice to meet you and you know i'm not a bad person but i'm just going to give you the floor i did i did run with it um so you know i know you probably want to come up here and explain some things so i'm just gonna let you uh say whatever you'd like to say it, it sounds like we're, we're both so really yeah. i just wanted to make it um very clear now correct me if i'm wrong <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but has hasn't she been uh, streaming other channels, other people's videos? Isn't doesn't she call that stealing? And now she's claiming it's fair use. I mean, it is fair use. She could do it. You can fucking you can stream my shit all day. 
People make fucking hate videos about me using my shit all the time. I don't give a fuck. Um, but isn't that something that she has been barking on and on about how it's stealing? Didn't she put a TM next to her name as if you, you're not allowed to say it if it has a TM next to her name? Um, just curious. <laughs> that he wasn't on speakerphone like i would not i would not do that and i had no idea that um you know whenever he answered the phone he was going to be upset um i have a z phone and whenever it's opened it comes like the sound comes through a larger speaker gotcha. and, um so that's basically i mean it, it, i didn't know that they could hear because it, it wasn't on i can honestly say i heard but i have back here so i'm definitely here i could only hear the, the very beginning i could hear his i'm curious like see here's the thing is they seem to just be having a regular conversation. And I know how I know how Penny feels about Bullhorn Boob. Uh, she feels the same way the rest of us do about her. But and she's actually extremely outspoken. She's kind of a spitfire. I like her. Um, but I feel like she is not giving her a piece of her mind right now because she's afraid of getting booted off. But at the same time, I mean, I would be. Like, there's no way she would ever let me on her panel. I would be asking her so many questions. I have so many questions, people. I have so many questions. She'll never let somebody like me or Burnt Toast up on her panel. Never, ever, ever, ever. She just won't. Like, she doesn't have, she doesn't, she, she's not bold enough for that. Um, because she lacks conviction. There's no way that she could, clearly answer any questions that i or burnt toast would have for her because she would she would she would boot us off just to avoid having to answer those questions and then try to discredit us in some way that's what she would do she would never give us a straight answer on the questions that we want voice but i couldn't make out the words he was saying after the initial you know f you know, well, the, the very beginning. And yeah. so I knew something was going on, and you're like, I told you, for all those that are on there, that I told you. And if you would like to um, elaborate on what he told you, you can. If, if, if you want to keep it confidential, you know, I don't have any hard feelings over that. Or why is she talking like, I understand confidential. Uh, phone why is she talking to Penny like like it's an interview? <laughs> uh, would you would, would you like to comment on why he said fuck that bitch? Would you like to comment on that? <laughs> calls everybody makes mistakes by accidentally calling somebody and not realizing the situation has changed and I, I really do appreciate you coming on you seem like a very nice gal I, I gotta tell you i love your eyes i think your eyes are beautiful oh thank you so much I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that in a weird wicked <laughs> that was weird it, it wasn't weird until you made it weird by saying i don't mean that in a weird way like that that's where it, that's when it got weird like i love your eyes you have beautiful eyes it's a nice thing to say to somebody that's a very nice thing to say to somebody. Nobody took it weird until you made it weird. Not ever, not necessarily everything is always helpful and not necessarily everything is always relevant. And in this situation, I don't think that um, what he was talking about is even relevant to Summer, per se. So, you know, and it was, it's just, and I did, I cut that out of the live um, yeah. because that conversation, he, you know, that was, he was talking to me. As I, like to I just want to, I just want to let everybody here know that, you know. See, she's sitting there like this fucking asshole's acting like she caught something because somebody managed to fucking record before she edited it, but she's acting like she caught something like, okay. So, so Benny said, fuck that bitch. So what? So what gives a shit? <laughs> who fucking cares not relevant just like penny said there it's not relevant to summer's case in any way shape or form it's not relevant to finding summer it's drama bullshit that i'm not interested in i don't care about i don't care how benny feels about candace i don't I don't care how Benny feels about Don. I don't care about how anybody feels about Don or Candace. If I'm being completely honest, I don't fucking care. 
that us as creators understand that, you know, we have to protect certain things. Uh, you know, and, and me being on the opposite end of that, I mean, I still respect the fact that that has to happen uh, because there are things, just as you say, that are irrelevant, uh, that will not um, make things better or be helpful. And when we're dealing with a missing six-year-old child, you know, there are some things that people have a duty to remain private. Um, and, you know, I, I don't mind trying to dig a little bit and, and go out there, you know, in, in, in what I do. But again, you know, if I accidentally had a conversation aired, um, Dude, in she's the public domain, always, and, and I wanted to keep that private. I, I completely now. Uh, now her content is not only just about her because it was always just about her, but now it's about Benny too. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> because she's always talking about Benny. She's always, always talking about Benny. <laughs> understand and respect that i just want to let you know i'm not you know i'm not going to speculate on what that was if it um you know I, i'm sorry to be honest with you i'm sorry it happened because it does cause problems it causes major problems in and, itself and you never want to um cause problems wow. good news is, is I, I didn't know you until today it's nice to meet you so uh, you've done nothing to me and i can tell you with everything i have personally born betty's hairdo holds a boom box outside of benny's house screaming in your eyes by peter gabriel <laughs> on through on YouTube, I believe very little of what I hear about people. Like even for example, uh, you know Ernie Shell, I had no idea who he was, but I didn't believe what they said. But then he got arrested for the intoxication thing, so I had to unsub sub them because now we have something. Now if he's cleared of all that, that's a different story, you know. But that's just, just very you know, funny I'm, to me. I'm a recovering that's just very funny and, to me. Uh, I'm happy to that that the one person that the one person who was was willing to have her on her cha on their channel as like a courtesy was was this dude who in the same week got arrested for fucking having meth on him or something like that i don't even know what his charge was but he had a drug charge benny's been dragging this dude for fucking ever and <laughs> sure enough and this dude is preaching that 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 benny is, is is breaking the law and he's trying to get benny arrested and blah 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 blah, blah right and then this dude fucking gets locked up for drug charges i love it that's that's and then she's like i had to unsub from him like because you know he had fucking similar charges that i had <laughs> that's was the funniest shit the funniest shit to me is that this person who fucking got busted with a fucking scale a bag of coke and a bag of ecstasy is judging this dude because he got caught with Drugs. That's fucking fantastic. Help him if he needs help, but you know, I don't believe everything, and I always give people the benefit of the doubt. I always give people the benefit of the doubt, but once, uh, really, really, you always give people the benefit of the doubt, right? Is that why you went to Tennessee? You came here to my state, you showed up to Rogersville, you invaded the privacy of two parents that their five-year-old child is missing you invaded their you 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 harassed these people you got them you deliberately got them fired from their job and took food off of their table based on nothing based on no evidence at all whatsoever based on hearsay and you're up here right now with a straight fucking face telling another youtuber that you always give people the benefit of the doubt. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'm burnt once. I really protect myself from being burnt twice. And I'm the same way. Like, I, you could tell me all day long that somebody's a bad person. Um, however, I'm going to need to see that for myself. And well, I appreciate that. Like, once, once I see it, then it's just like, you know, then I, I feel confident. Penny's being too nice. I mean, I'm not going to fault her for being nice to somebody. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to like, you know criticize her for being nice to someone that's ridiculous but she's being a lot nicer than, I, than, than I would have been my own opinion but Absolutely. I'm never gonna listen to what somebody else says just because they had a bad experience with you or just simply because they don't like you like that's that's happened to me quite a few times where somebody was like oh don't like this person and I'm like but why yeah like, we're not in high school like I mean, people need to realize this is <laughs> yeah we're adults we need to start acting like it at some point <laughs> yeah I mean we're adults you you no 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 we're adults but you now 
at the same time, you know, I'm 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 cracking jokes. <laughs> <laughs> pretty juvenile jokes but i like i like being juvenile i like it i enjoy it i like hey, i appreciate i it. like being petty you're a breath of fresh air so thank you so much and um you know happy to breath of fresh uh, air. you know have you on anytime um and just want to send you that olive branch that you know i have no no issues with you i didn't know who you were i wasn't trying to be rude i just didn't you know you got she she wants she wants to be friends with people so bad she wants friends so bad Immature as fuck. Uh, absolutely. Um, it's it's so sad. It, it, it's so sad how desperate she is for friendship. Like, like it, it it's it shines through her. You know what I mean, people? It shines through her. Um, we're talking about somebody who, who, while she was in this uh, bullshit, these boobs on the ground group where they were walking around and, uh, you know, harassing people. All she could talk about was her team. It's all she could talk about. Because she just needs to be, she needs to be accepted. She needs that so bad. Ernie's nobody, Rebecca. Um, She needs that so bad. And now... She's all by herself. When do you ever see Jonathan Lee Riches ever like publicly refer to her? Think about it. Like he'll he never he never speaks on her. Now he does fucked up shit behind the scenes. I know that was him behind, and I'm not gonna talk much about it out of respect for crude AF, but I know it was him behind that bullshit. I know he was the he was the brains behind that shit. I know he was. Like I could tell. Like those ridiculous fucking crazy accusations and that bullshit uh cease and desist. Like that's got dipshit written all over it. It absolutely does. But you never see him publicly, like, acknowledge uh, Betty. Never, ever. Panda. You all right, Panda Lady? You never, ever, ever, ever see her see him do that. Because he doesn't want to be associated. He knows. Like, th this dude, he's fucking nuts. And he's pretty fucking stupid in a lot of ways. But he's also not too stupid. Like, he's not too stupid to not see that everything that comes out of this woman's mouth is absolute and utter bullshit. It doesn't make any sense. He's, she's got no logic to back it up with. And he can see this. So he's not going to, like, he's not going to, like, publicly fucking endorse her. That would be dumb. He wants to be taken seriously. As fucking crazy as that is. This dickhead wants to be taken seriously, and he knows he can't, he's not going to be taken seriously if he's backing up everything that she's saying because there's nothing to back up. She's not saying anything. She's not saying anything that makes any sense. Her actions contradict her words on a constant basis. It never stops. It never, ever stops. There's no way that even if I had personal feelings about her, that I would back her up. I wouldn't fucking put my name next to hers. There's no fucking way. Dude, the, the quality of, of followers that she has is insane to me. Like anybody who takes her seriously can't think like they, they can't. Yeah. They can't brain like they can't do it. There's, there's just no way. I just don't see how anybody who sees and listens to the shit that comes out of her face is taking her seriously. And, and they can brain like, I, I don't see it.
Hold on one second. Oh, I haven't I haven't watched this yet. Hold on. Let's let's see let's see what Laura has to say about burnt toast. I'm curious about that. <laughs> uh, blessed are the clip channels, people. This one is going to be Hartley's video because Hartley is also very awesome. So I figured this was like the best time to do it. So uh, what am I even doing today? First, let me say hi, everyone. Welcome members, Patreon, subs, everyone in between. Today's a little different. Today, I am doing a reaction video from Burnt Toast last night. So let me tell you how this even came up. I almost went live at like 2.30 in the morning last night. I'm like, you know what? This would not be a good idea. Let me just hold this off till tomorrow. So let me, so yeah, let me just talk about not going live at 2 in the morning. <laughs> tomorrow, I'll do it first thing in the morning and be done. Yes, Kathy, that's what I'm looking for. That, that's why I'm glad you came in here. I totally forgot yesterday. Well, Phoenix went to school. Dayton's at school, but Sage is home. So, Okay. Last night after I got off my live, I went to paint, which I got a lot done, by the way, but I needed something to listen to. Nobody gives a shit. And I'm like, who's on? Like, there's nobody on at like one o'clock in the morning. So then I remembered Burnt Toast was on from when I was on and she had like a two and a half hour live. I'm like, sweet. This will get me through the night because her voice is nice and calm. And yet I know the people she's talking about. So it kind of works out. Well, lo and behold, I'm listening to her. Now, mind you, me and Burnt Toast, hey, MJ, have like night and day personalities. She's very calm. She doesn't curse. She's, um, and, and maybe she does curse. I don't know. I never heard of curse. But her demeanor. Is, she curses when it's, when it's, when it seems necessary. It's just totally different than mine. So normally I wouldn't listen to her like because she doesn't get ramped up. But last night she was really on point with a lot of stuff. Yeah, like, she always is. Most of the stuff she said. She's always on point. <laughs> that's the thing about burnt toast is she is always on point unlike you this is one thing that you're on point about but i couldn't have said better but she kind of stopped and i'm screaming at the computer at my computer at my phone i'm like oh my god dude say this say this but she didn't so that's where i was like ready to bust then she said a couple of things that okay so so now so what what this seems to be is Burnt toast is great, but this is how she could be better. Thank you, Laura. Let's let's hear how Laura thinks that burnt toast could be better. I this is very very amusing to me. I, I have to correct her on. First, I want everyone to know, and everyone knows this, but just in case, I don't need anybody coming back and being like, "Oh, you just mad she didn't say you." Okay, I am not a true crime channel. I am a case discussion channel. There is a big difference, and a true crime channel to me is like. Uh, Bailey Sarion, Stephanie Harlow. That's a true crime channel. Everybody else is a case discussion channel. Unless you throw in zero opinion. Okay, so Bailey Sarian is the only true crime channel. <laughs> That's news to me. Shit. I I I, I better let Stephanie Harlow know. Uh I, I better let Ten to Life know that Bailey Sarian's the only true crime channel and i gotta let stephanie harlow and gray hughes and tend to life i gotta let them all know listen hey you're a case discussion channel not true crime okay got it okay zero opinion once you throw in your opinion you're a case discussion channel just like she's a commentary channel you know i wouldn't call her a true crime channel i wouldn't call her a um I don't know. Uh, 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 what's the word? I'm, I'm trying to think of like a good term. That chapter. He's a, he is great. Um, he's I like him. He's a true crime channel. He reports a crime. No opinion. Straight facts. <sighs> know nothing about him other than he's from Ireland. This woman has no fucking idea what she's talking about. <laughs> Ireland. He's adorable. And he has a great accent. And he does great stories. That's a true crime channel. Hey, Yarn, a case discussion channel gives opinions, gives thoughts, um, puts their spin on things. That's that's what a case discussion channel is. I know a lot of people 
want to say they're true crime, they're not true crime at all. They are a case discussion channel. They just don't want to admit it. She also said about Gray Use. Now, I like Gray. I'm a member of Gray. I don't have any problems with Gray at all whatsoever. But Gray will call you an idiot if you disagree with him. He'll be like, no, nah, you're an idiot. I mean, That's I will too. Thing. So to say that Gray doesn't snap back at <laughs> but people. But the yeah. thing is, though, is Gray is so thorough. And yeah, I know Gray snaps back at people and blah, blah, blah. I know all that. Gray doesn't even like me. I That's understandable. I totally, totally understand that. Um, but the fact is, is that he's 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 a smart dude. And he does his fucking channel the way that you're supposed to do a channel when it comes to true crime. He's absolutely thorough. Uh, he's almost a fucking, I, I was telling Crude AF yesterday, I was texting with him and I was saying, dude, yeah, Gray's a fucking true crime savant. Like, dude, if you watch the video that he did, that what blew me away when I first started watching Gray, I, I watched him cover the Jody Arias case. This dude made like a 3D fucking, uh, like a 3d computer generated thing of the property of the house of the murder scene. And I was like, Holy shit. Like this guy, like is the truth. Like it's badass. Like Gray Hughes is, is, is out there, man. Uh, but he's really good at what he does. Um, but to say that he's not a true crime channel because he'll call you an idiot. If you disagree with him. Well, if you put in as much work as this dude does, and you're basing your opinion based on <clears throat> based on just fucking bullshit hearsay. And this guy's actually doing legwork. And then he calls you an idiot because whatever you said, fucking there's nothing to back it up. And he calls you an idiot for not using your fucking brain. Well, then you should deserve to be called a fucking idiot. <laughs> it's just that simple. Yeah, he does. And he snaps back hard if you don't agree with him. So... That's so one that thing I want to say now. Totally agree with her about chasing. Stupid. Um, about chasing truth. Absolutely agree with her. I'm a member to her as well. The one person that she said, Reagan, you're going to love me for this. But the one person she said that I absolutely disagree with her, and she needs to hear this, was John Crimes. Oh. John Crimes is a male version of the exact people that you do commentary on. If Listen. Let's just let's just keep it about true crime, okay? Let's just keep things about true crime just for now, just for the sake of this discussion right here, okay? Just for the sake of her comments. Because John Crimes, okay, he has alternate channels and he does get involved with people in the drama community and whatnot and so forth and whatever. But how does that make his true crime coverage any less credible that's what i want to know because if you see john crime's content when he does cover true crime it's amazing actually and yes it's opinionated sure it's heartfelt he he, he will give his feelings on certain things but make no mistake he's a documentary filmmaker and his videos are great and he still brings awareness. If you're a true crime channel, what you're doing is bringing awareness to a case. Doesn't matter what kind of flair you throw on it. And some of that flair being opinions. Doesn't matter. I give my opinions on here. And sure, if you want to label me a case discussion channel, you can do that. I'm not an investigator. I'm not. I don't think John Crimes is either honestly, but that doesn't make him less of a true crime channel. It doesn't make his channel less credible because he's still putting the work in to make a video and bring awareness to a case that he feels passionate about. So to sit there and try to tear John down just because Burt Toast mentioned his name as a true crime channel, like that tells me everything that I need to know about you and your bullshit little insecurities about having a YouTube channel and being on an island on your own where nobody wants anything to do with you because you've shown your true colors time and time and time again where you have no credibility at all whatsoever. If not worse, please do not promote a narciss completely narcissistic, arrogant, um, 
Exactly, just me. And she was promoting him last Here's night as thing. true crime. He's not true crime at all. I'm going to tell you one thing right now. I don't give a fuck about how anybody's, if anybody's narcissistic or whatever fucking personality traits they may or may not have. If their content gives me what I'm looking for, then they did their job. They did more than their job because it's not their job to do it. They're doing it because they care or because it's something important to them. So I'm always going to be grateful for whatever content I get from any true crime creator that's trying to bring awareness to a case. I'm always going to have respect for them in that sense. I don't give a shit. One thing has nothing to do with the other. If he puts out a video that is informative, that doesn't mean shit to me of how wh whether or not he gets along with Diane or whoever the fuck else. I don't care about that. I've never, still to this day, perfect record, never clicked on a Tiffany Marie video. I don't know what the fuck the deal is with Tiffany Marie. I don't care. I don't care. But... I will watch a John Crimes video because I know what I'm going to get from it because it's exactly what I would expect to get from a John Crimes video every time. It's always quality. So I don't give a shit if he's narcissistic or not narcissistic or whatever. I don't care. That has nothing to do with his credibility as a true crime creator. It really doesn't. I know that a lot of people are saying that. Well, you can't be credible if you get involved in the drama channels and blah, 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 blah. Why? Why not? Somehow his videos that you can't, couldn't fucking do on your best day no longer hold any water? Because he called somebody a skank? Get out of my face. No. Yeah. He is a male LOL cow. And does he do good videos? Yeah, if he didn't put his face front and center all the time. So all I'm going to say is if you want, you know, she you got a like, lot of people in your live burn. She sounded so like such a boomer, dude. She sounded like such a dude. You know what's going to end up happening is Burt Toast. Burt Toast will either lay the fuck into her for, for this shit. Or she's just going to completely ignore her. <laughs> like like for it, it she sounded like a total boomer saying lol cow i've never heard anybody now the term is new to me because burnt toast actually had to explain to me what a lol's cow was on this panel one time uh, i was like i don't even know what that is uh <laughs> um and apparently there's a whole youtube community for it right but I don't think I, I haven't heard anybody since that time, which was, you know, a couple months ago. I haven't heard anybody call it an LOL cow. But an LOL cow. That's that's is, is that the correct way of saying are you correcting something that you don't know shit about again? Is that what you're doing, Laura? Post, please do some background on the people you're promoting before for saying it and you are very analytical and this isn't a down on you or anything no just when i hear people no, promote no. someone like him it, it cringes me i i, I it, that's I just because cringe. you don't like him that's all that is like it's just because you don't like him laura that's all that is. Like, and I find it, I find it so adorable that you can actually go on a live stream and talk about what's true crime, what isn't, what's drama, what isn't. I love that. I love it. As far as I know, John has Blue Moon. As far as I know. I mean, but that's the thing is you don't... Like, for her to sock that way about burnt toast is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. She obviously fears her laying into her. Um, but in my very brief 
<laughs> in my very, very brief uh, uh, or, or recent awareness of what a Lowell's cow is, Laura is absolutely a Lowell's cow. As far as I know, what a Lowell's cow, what I understand it to be as of recent, Laura is absolutely a Lowell's cow. So it is just a matter of time. She could have just woken up a giant, and I hope she did. It's, in a way, I, I do. I, I, it's just funny to me. Um, but I think that's what she wants. I think she just, she wants attention so bad. She wants... She wants somebody to be talking about her. And, and I'm guessing this is probably going to be the best that it gets for you, Laura. So, sorry. Um, I will try to explain what a Lowell's cow is, uh, the way that it was explained to me, more or less. Um, it's, it's someone who has no sense of accountability, no self sense of self-awareness, constantly saying shit that's going to make them look stupid and and they believe it makes them look smart um, and is constantly doing shit that is questionable uh, in, in, in terms of, of, of scruples. Um. <laughs> that's, that's how it was pretty much explained to me. Um, Laura absolutely falls under that category. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I don't know who Shani, I mean, I know who Shani is. I've just never watched any of her content, but apparently everybody talks about her. Um, like, okay, like Katie Joy, total Lowell's cow. But, and there's a whole community that talks just about her, but I don't think that they're, they're, they're aware of the term Lowell's cow. Um... Wendy Wren. Okay. Okay. You're not a creator. Um, I see your channel here. I was confusing you with someone else. I mean, yeah, I'm just going to let Cherry handle Wendy Wren. <laughs> uh, let me let me see what what your comments are here. I'm going to I'm going to let you I'm going to acknowledge you since you're so desperate for acknowledgement in my channel. So I'm going to go ahead and acknowledge you. Hold on a second. Let me look. Let me look at the shit you're saying. Nobody's booting you yet. Oh, wait. So, Wendy Wren, you're saying that I don't have... And you're calling my mod classless? Oh, yeah. You're not nice at all. But you're, you're sitting up here. I just looked up your channel, and, and you have, like, one subscriber. Okay? So, who are you to talk about anybody having content or not having content? I'm curious what makes you think that you have any any right to, to to criticize anyone when you don't have the fucking balls to fucking start a channel and and create content and that you have the the, the audacity to to criticize other people's content. Yeah, and I've seen you in other chats, too. Yes, Cherry likes <laughs> Hugh Janus in the house. Again, blessed are the clip channels. Subscribe to Hugh Janus, please. She's great.
Good afternoon to you, Kara Schaffner. I mean, Wendy Wren, I'll drop you a link if you want. If you if you have things that are on your mind. that you feel the need to air. Okay. I'll drop you a link and you can come on up here and we can, we can talk about it. I'm, I'm more than happy to let you do that. Okay. I mean, since you want attention so much. I'm all about giving attention. That's. I'm all about that. So the link is in the chat. And we'll see. Like, so instead of trolling my chat and just trying to make everyone mad. All right, it says devices not connected. So I can't let you up here until you connect whatever devices you're using. You know, you, you need a mic to be able to be heard. So make sure that that is, you're given StreamYard permission to use your mic. Like, I, it won't even let me let you up here until, because it says device is not connected. So when you figure out how, how to computer, you, you'll be let up here, okay? All right, try, try coming up here again. Click on the link again. Allow StreamYard access to your camera or mic, uh, at least your mic. They never come up here, man. Like, they never, ever do. They never do. <laughs> exactly, Winter Moon Ray. Again, it says device is not connected. <clears throat> And guys, while we're waiting on Wendy Wren to figure out how to computer, I'll uh, uh, I'll, I'll let you guys in on the fact that um, right now, 
guys, I'm going to push this merch because it's good merch, people. It's good merch, people. Hold on a second. Let me. I'm gonna. All right, Wendy Ren. I'm gonna let you up here in just a second, but I'm. I gotta push this merch. This is all right, people. This is your dumpy dump merch. You can get t-shirts any color. Look at this. Any color. Any color you want. All right. Dumpy dump. Don't be a dumpy dump. All right. All proceeds will go to the the. Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Um, you can get mugs. You can get stickers. You can get grip rings. We also got the the Beater Bunch merch. Okay? Be a member of your own Beater Bunch coffee club in the morning. All right? And all proceeds will go to Joyful Life, which is a charity for... It is a charity for... Uh, Domestic violence victims and survivors. Okay. Wendy Wren, hello. Hi there, Will. Okay. Uh, something on your mind? Well, yeah. I mean, I've been called a cunt by your moderator, Cherry, which uh, I find is unacceptable because I have an opinion. Well, I mean... She's got the card because she's British. You know that that word is. Well, I'm fucking British too. <laughs> but I'm not a cunt. Uh, well, I mean, you know, uh, if Cherry says you are, you know, I mean, well, she doesn't know me, so how could she say that? Well, it's because you were probably saying something really stupid in my chat. I'm not. I'll, I'll, I'll just. I'll, I'll, I'll determine whether well. or not. I'll, 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 been... I'll determine whether or not it's stupid. So go ahead and t tell Can me what's I on your mind. Can I just say something to you? I've been listening to you for three and a half years or however long you've been on YouTube. Okay. And I can't believe the direction you've taken. Okay, which is, what direction you know, is that? A, a proper man, uh, a supposedly real man, just slagging off other people all the time. That's your content. I've done this since I started this channel. No, I don't think about? you have, except for I, CK. I, I have. Okay, right. Right. You whenever know, somebody, whenever me. somebody, let me explain to you. Okay. I'm going to answer your question. I'm going to do it respectfully because this is what you came up here for. Right. All right. I'm going to answer your question. I'm going to do it respectfully. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, of course. Okay. okay. Um, whenever now I cover, I, I, I talk about crime cases. Okay. I've always talked about crime cases, yeah, but whenever I, I see, whenever I see someone covering the same cases and they do it in a very irresponsible manner where it could interfere with an actual ongoing investigation i will call them out i will make fun of them and i will be entertaining about it because that's what i do up here and i've always done that whether it's ck whether it's js for justice whether it's bullhorn betty whether it's molly go lightly i have always done this so if you've been listening to me this entire time then you would know that yeah, but the thing is, well, it's like lately it's been week after week after week. We know these people are losers. You don't have to keep knocking it in. I thought you're going to be yeah, but it's you know, fun. Um, <laughs> it's fun. A spokesperson for abused children. I I I still do that. I still do, do that. You? Yeah, I do. Maybe you're only actually interested. See, this is the lack of self awareness that. That that no, that, don't tell that me always... I'm self-aware. Uh, well, oh, I'm going to point out how you're self-aware, uh, how you're no, lacking you self-awareness. I'm going to point out that. exactly how you're lacking self-awareness because I have always done this. Okay, maybe you're only clicking on the videos where I'm trash talking someone because you need something to criticize. Did you ever think of that? No, that's shit. That's because bullshit. I don't, because I don't get that many views on the on the cases that I cover, and I'm fine with that. I don't get as many. I know that, but I'm okay well, with I've that. I've been listening to you for three and a odd half years. Okay, but maybe you're only clicking on the videos where you're looking for something to criticize. 
every time you come up, I listen to you and I think, what's no, happened to not this every man? Time. No. Does it make because you feel the last time, Because the last, the last, the last time, time I went live, Wendy Wren, the last time that I went live, I discussed the, the Orrin and Orson West case. Now, maybe you didn't click on that because it didn't interest you. Maybe being it critical is me, what but interests you're like you. And so you clicked on this one. But if you know, that was the last thing that I talked about on a live stream. You're it more interested in Bullhole Betty, Betty, and you're giving her more views. I mean, you know. So? You're welcome, Betty. And? See, you're confusing, you're confusing what I'm doing with hatred. I don't hate anyone, okay? Well, then, you know, there's so many things going on in the world, Will. There's so many kids missing, abuse, et cetera. Okay. Et cetera. And there's a lot of channels, you're, you're, there's a lot of channels that are covering you that. You always talk over people. There are a lot you're, of channels covering that. There are a lot of channels covering those, those missing people. Other YouTubers, you know. What, what, you know, for, for, why for, do you feel why do you feel the right why, why do you feel the right to criticize other people's content when you don't have the fortitude to create content yourself and go on YouTube? Well, I don't have make, to be on YouTube to have a brain. Okay, but you obviously are lacking enough brains to figure out that if you want to, if you want to hear about missing kids, go click on a channel that consistently talks about missing persons cases all the time. If there's so much good that can be done, then go listen to those channels. Why are you going on my channel and criticizing my content when you don't have the audacity to even create content yourself? I don't you, want to create you lack content. you lack anything that you're okay, but you don't then but you you therefore forfeit the right to criticize other creators, don't you? Well the thing is, Will, I don't have to be a YouTuber to earn money. You know, sit on my ass okay. behind a keyboard, slagging off other content creators, but however bad are, they listen, are. Then and you, I don't but here you are listening and giving me clicks. Because I've got a different opinion. Here you are on my channel. Speaking Ooh. up because it's it's something that's so important to you, right? No, I you mean, just you just you, turned you need to be, you need to be heard so bad that you had to come up on my panel, right? No, it's but not yet, a case why of can't you but, to be heard? But, it's the so, case so of having a fucking you are opinion. Using, here you, you are. You know, you've got an opinion, me. so have I. Here you are using me to be heard, using my content to be heard. <gasps> what content? Right? What content have you had for the last six weeks? I'm I'm up here and there's 360 <laughs> people. <watching>. Oh, <laughs> well, that must make you feel a real man. I mean, it definitely makes me feel grateful that I have well, people that are interested in listening. Because they're they're sure. financially supporting you. What's that? They're financially supporting you. I'm sorry, I, my dog is barking and whining and I can hardly understand. Oh, it's like your dog's making more sense than you fucking are. <laughs> my, I'm, I'm making perfect sense because there's 365 um, people right lover. now that feel that I am. Right? Yeah, and you've, like got, and you've, got a whole, you've got a whole pa you've got a whole chat full of people telling you to get fucked. I Why do you give think that is? Why you do you really, think that is? I care what people in America, England and all the rest of it think about me because they don't know me okay so but but you're up here because you care right you're I am. up here, I you're, you're well, up here because, because cherry really called you a cunt, you at the end right? of the day right you're up here because cherry called you a cunt and you're so furious about it no so, i'm not but, but, i mean I'm but, just but you don't care what people think about you right general, you know if i if i See, this you is, know the last this, few this is the lives lack of awareness that i'm talking about that's the lack of self that she left. So, so this is the lack of self-awareness that I'm talking about, people. We're talking about somebody who is so offended because one of my moderators called her a cunt. And so now she's got to come up here and, 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 and air her grievances. But yet, you know, she wants, to, she wants to sit there and actually, you know, criticize everyone when she doesn't have any, you know... She doesn't have the guts to actually create her own content. So she has no frame of reference when it comes to criticizing other creators. She just doesn't. So 
I, I, I implore you, if you are going to criticize someone's content, you don't like it, A, don't listen to it, right? Or B, create your own co content and counter it. So, I mean, there's just no way of her winning that argument. There's just no way. Yeah, I mean, no. See, that's the thing. That's the lack of self-awareness I'm talking about, Kasha T. Uh, YouTube is very toxic, and I recommend taking a break. Right, but that's not, but she she's addicted to the toxicity. Because here she is saying that this is the only thing that I do. But the fact of the matter is, is that I do other content too. It's just that not as many people click on it, but I still do it. Because I'm not doing it for the clicks and the views. I'm doing it to try to create more awareness. But sometimes I just like to use my channel to be fun. To just have fun. And I like having fun. I like making fun of shitty people. I like making lemonade out of lemons. You guys enjoy it, so I enjoy it. It's fun. So to, to, to sit there and, and, and criticize and be like, you should be doing this and not doing that and blah, 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 blah. Get fucked. Just like the rest of my chat told you, Wendy Wren, get fucked if you don't like it. Seriously. Like, I'm not fucking up here taking requests. I'm not up here fucking, dude. I had my last team of moderators, I got rid of them. Started a whole new team of moderators. You know why? Because my last head moderator thought she could tell me what to do with my channel. And I'm not going to have someone in charge of my chat who isn't who doesn't believe in what i'm doing who doesn't back up what i'm doing you know if you don't like it you shouldn't be here i don't want anyone here who isn't happy i don't want anyone here who isn't enjoying this thank you monique welcome Hugh Janus, I would love for you to come up here and yell at me. <laughs> I mean, this lady's just sad, bro. Like, to just sit there and, oh, I listen to your content. I listen to your content for three and a half years. I like you, Clara. But, but... You shouldn't be saying this and you should be saying that and you should be doing this and you should be doing that. No, dude, that's not how this works. You can go fuck yourself. Seriously. Anybody who has a problem with anything that I'm doing, don't listen to it. Or make fun of it. You know? Like, make hate videos. You know? Or make clown videos. Absolutely. I do it. I do it all the time. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> you know, like, absolutely. I encourage you to do that. But don't fucking, don't fucking get on a, on a, 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 a you know, in a chat and start whining because you don't like the content. Like, that's ridiculous. You know, like start a channel, make Hey, videos about me like fucking some of these other idiots do. That's great. But don't come on my panel and whine. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Clara, I don't understand. Why does your moderator have to call me a cunt? Well, because maybe you're acting like one on in limey standards, not an American. Not, I don't mean that in the American sense of the word. But maybe, maybe my limey moderator feels like you're acting like one. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to tell you. And don't sit here and act like this bothers you when that's what you're clicking on and watching and commenting on. 
I don't see you in my true crime or real crime uh, videos, live streams. I don't see you doing that. I don't see you in there participating. So the way you look to me and everyone else here is just somebody who's criticizing people, trash talking other people, but yet that's what you're clicking on and watching. That's where you're seen. So it's pretty hypocritical, Wendy Wren. Dumpster clips. Yeah, let me, let me explain. This is the, the, I did this today because this is the mustache that goes with Bullhorn Betty's hairdo. I don't want it to feel lonely, people, okay? I don't want it to feel lonely. This is the mustache that goes with the hairdo. She can't grow one, so I grew one for her. So the, the, so the hairdo actually is somewhat justified, all right? Bullhorn Betty's hairdo drinks Zima. <laughs> oh my god bullhorn bull, <laughs> bullhorn betty's hairdo prefers new coke over coca-cola classic <laughs> <laughs> bullhorn betty bullhorn betty watches thursday night nbc lineup religiously and i'm talking about cosby show family ties cheers and night court <laughs> fc clear <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you guys are killing me dude <laughs> bullhorn betty's hairdo has a band with a drummer with one arm <laughs> photograph Bullhorn Betty's hairdo has kept Aquanet in business this entire time. <laughs> oh my God. Bullhorn, Bullhorn Betty's hairdo was excited about the Coverdale, David Coverdale and Jimmy Page collaboration. Bullhorn Betty's hairdo misses stonewashed jeans. <laughs> Stonewash guest jeans. Bullhorn Betty's hairdo saw Iron Eagle on opening night in the theaters. Mad Dog 2020. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Let me tell you something, dude. The dude who invented crack has a cousin somewhere that fucking invented Mad Dog 2020 and Cisco. Like. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, y'all are killing me in the chat right now. <laughs> Bullhorn Betty's hairdo sells quaaludes. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Z Cavaricis. I had Z Cavaricis. Dude, I had I had like snakeskin print Cavaricis. I was the shit in middle school, bro, when I came when I walked in wearing those things. Everybody's like, "Ooh!" Hell yeah. <laughs> Bullhorn Betty's hairdo wears capizios and skids. <laughs> Bullhorn, Bullhorn Betty's hairdo stopped listening to metal and decided to start listening to house music. <laughs> Parachute pants. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Chris. Bullborn's hairdo. Bullborn. Bull. Bullhorn. Betty's hairdo wants to know where the beef is. <laughs> Bullhorn Betty's hairdo just wants to hold you by the firelight on a cool night. <laughs> oh my god, dude! I need to fucking stop smoking that shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh fuck. Bullhorn Betty's hairdo keeps buying shake weights because the last one breaks on her every time. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Exactly, Laura girl. <laughs> Lord Betty's hairdo got their Grammy got his Grammy revoked because it got caught lip syncing. <laughs> okay, I'm done, dude. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. All right, y'all. Hey, I love you guys very much. Make sure subscribe to your clip channels. Make sure to subscribe to Dumpster Clips, Huge Anus. Heels on heels in the air, Hartley. We love you guys very much. Thank you for what you do. Blessed are the clip channels, guys. I love you. We will do this again very soon, my friends.